Oh, ah. Simon. Ooh. The new Christmas jumper oh, is here. It's beautiful. Do you recognize it? It's the Jaffa factory. It is, Simon, on the front Ooh. and back. And of course, the way it's designed is, Ooh. neither of us are wearing it, but you are the head of the, the man, the Santa man on the top. The Santa man. Of the, the Jaffa factory. Oh, and it feels so nice, Lewis. High quality Ooh. hand loved Ooh. jumper. It's lovely. Stop Ooh. the advert. Oh, <laughs> I love it, Lewis. <laughs> oh. Please. Oh, it's so comfortable and soft. Ruined the advert. Oh, I love it. Oh. It's going so well. I want to buy this, No Lewis. one's going to buy How it How can now? I buy it? Uh, Hello. Hello. Uh, and <laughs> welcome back <laughs> to Simon's. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> So Simon's. Hello. Uh, pee pee. There we go. Oh, Brilliant. Good stuff. Well, we're we not going to do a second take of that. No. Or? Very okay. special no, live fine. pee pee. Um, we're live broadcasting on Twitch, and you, you know, just it's going to be very similar to the normal pee pee. Only it's a live pee pee. Ooh. So anything could happen. It's alive. It's alive. Hmm. You see what great, I did. Great anyway, joke. Yeah. Top joke. Uh, That'll mm. make it in. Yeah. Well, that well it was very loud. It was it's kind of, of hard to cut around, I think. So, gonna have to keep that one. It's in. good because we'll have it coming through your mic as well. Mm. So it'll be even nicer. Or because yours broke when you screamed. Yeah, I yeah. Think it's busted now. So we have. Okay. Well, I got five animal news stories. Oh. I got three consumer news, three food news, oh. and three Say, crime stories. Don't, don't show me any of them. So I want to be surprised. Which, got, that's, that's like three times the amount mods? of normal stories. Night, Nightjar? <laughs> mods? Who's there, actually? Is Nightjar there? Um, Fav's there. I know that. What sure. do you want from um, Twitch Should we chat? have a poll? No, you just go straight. Don't ignore can, them. Just... Ignore chat. Fuck it. We need some interaction. We're taking advantage of it being oh, live. They're all just talking nonsense and Chat, posting emotes. You decide what the first category of stories is. Animal news, consumer news. Is that adverts? No. <laughs> food news or crime. Crime. So animal, consumer, food or crime. If we have a poll... Or we'll just, we'll just wait, posting. will we? But then again, it's no different to a normal PP where we end up just doing nothing for before we get on with any meaningful story. Well, we warm up a bit. That's natural to do that, to warm up. Right, fine. Let's do a little warm up while they're doing the poll. PP 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 PP. We already did our warm up with the daff arse in my face before the pee pee started. The rain. I just got it in Spain. Cold. Why are you doing that? Why? I'm warming up. I'm warming up my mouth. Why was it? Was it cold? I'm warming up. Uh, why my are you going to need to use those muscles? <laughs> I just got. I just got to warm up the voice. Oh my god! What did that sound like? That was like that advert. <laughs> They had to fucking. Someone in chat knows. <laughs> what? What advert is that? It's like a fucking. It's an advert. It's an advert. Oh, I really want to buy Lloyd's. 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 I really want to buy Lloyd's now. Oh, a Lloyd's burger. That'd be great. Is that what it is? I think that's what they do. Yeah, sure. Lloyd's burger. It sounds almost right. Um, what was the poll? It's still going. It's still going, yeah. It's it's not it's it's quite a quick. They're poll, gonna vote for worry. animal news. Why are we bothering? We, well, it may, they may not. Let's, Everyone Oh, will... I can't look at it, it's Tom, I think. Can we click on first to see what it says? Does anyone have access to that? TJ does, I can see. TJ <laughs> One of the Crime is at fifty three percent current. Crime is crime is, crime is leading. leading. I'm surprised. Oh people love crime. Okay. Well, maybe we've been doing this wrong the whole time. Oh, there we go. Animals, not too far behind. Wow, it's not going to make it, is it? Let's be honest. Okay, well, chat, it looks like you've made your decision. And it's crime. Uh, we're going to try and... We'll see if I'm we sorry to hear it, honestly. Categories, at least. Um, we've already, oh, like, are we not going to do the other ones at all? Well, I'd like to do, like, crime and then something else. 
punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you did that warm up exercise. <sighs> Isn't that what uh, Les Miserables based off of? <sighs> what the that crime punishment? Oh, That's Dostoevsky, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, I think it said quite a tome. Yeah, well, it's, they're both foreign. So, <laughs> right, crime is one. Both are Just edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Just edit that out. Okay. Finally, the streets are safe once more. That's what I put for this uh, this news this story. news article. Uh, and of course, we've got the cookies fucking bullshit <laughs> to deal with. Can I actually read the article? Good, good, okay. Good great. lord, what is that? Um, so it looks like we've got this subscribe free for your first month always on screen, which I enjoy. Which we can't get rid of. Um, so this news story, the, the headline is, Police hunting gimp-suited night stalker arrest man in dark clothing and full face covering. Mmm. He uh, does look like uh, some Halloween, some, some cryptid. Here, look, that doesn't he? He looks like, like, like some sort of hot. Because his hands are like, he looks like an SCP. His hands I mean? are blurry. Yeah, his face is blurry he's, as well. He's like moving. <clears throat> it, it's the rubberized suit, I think, which gives him. Is this what Batman would really look like? <laughs> Do you know what I mean if he was a real character, a real caped crusader? <clears throat> I think. Well, he hasn't got a cape. Um. So. Well, yeah, but again, really, they would be like. A cape wouldn't be practical, would it? Get, get caught in things. No capes! Like the lady, doors. Ed, Edna, whatever her name is, from The Incredibles. Is she in The Incredibles? No capes, right. That was yeah. her thing. Yeah, no, right. no capes. Ebna. Ebna. She, yeah, um, sure, Ebna. She <coughs> wouldn't... She designed this. <laughs> go, she, this is my, my finest work. Mm. The, the skin-tight suit. The, the thing that worries me is, is how do you breathe out of this thing? Because I had the, the Momo. That's the thing that worries you. The Momo mask on, the rubber mask. Yeah. For the Halloween PP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was just awful, trying to breathe out of that. I think it was just, I think you were just... And it wasn't even that tight, it was quite no, loose. That was one of those things where people, remember when, when, remember when COVID? Remember everyone was wearing a mask? A Sorry? lot of people, what? a lot of boomers, During what? were like, like oh, I can't breathe in this mask. And it, it was just a psychological thing where they were just, they, of course they could breathe. They just didn't like the warmness of the air that they were <coughs> breathing oh. in or not breathing in or whatever. It's, it's like when you're in bed and your partner or cat is breathing right into your face. Right. And I don't want that. I don't want someone breathing into my face. Including yourself. Exactly. Yeah. I think it was, it turns out that it's actually fine. Is it fine to have a cat breathing into your face I as think you try and sleep? I think so. I do worry that a cat's stealing my breath. Maybe that's why the witches had them as cat, as pets. The witches had cats as cats. They had cats, yes. Yeah. Had them as cats. To steal their own breath. No, other people's breaths. Right, their neighbours. Yes. Right. And then they can put that into the cauldron. <laughs> Back in the cauldron. You know, breath of Simon. <laughs> that would be one of the ingredients. I don't want that. It sounds creepy. How do you get the breath out of the cat? Do you have to milk the breath out of... Uh, you got to squeeze the cat. Well, I mean, the cat... Squeeze its anal glands. <laughs> and the breath come out. Well, the, I guess... A bit brown. <laughs> Stinks <laughs> high heaven. Uh, good lord! So, so this rubber man, rubber clad man. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rubber clad man. Terrifying looking rubber man. He would run towards people, grunting and breathing heavily during the night. This is recent. Is this is actually last week. Yeah, this is recent. And this is from Avon and Somerset. This is from our own police force. Yep. Here, local, a local man. A local man. Bristol man with a gimp suit. Do we know any? Do we know anyone? He's dissolving. Maybe in hat films. Look, that leg is like to teleport. He's like it's he blurry. I think he's one of the X Men. <laughs> What's his superpower? <laughs> uh, uh, he's um. So I think his superpower <laughs> is 
being able to ejaculate when he's in <laughs> tremendous pain. <laughs> I don't know if that's... I think Spider-Man has that. I that's funny what to have. <laughs> Spider-Man does that. Uh, that's, a, it's, that's precedent. Are we keeping that in? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Oh, so a night stalker. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's obviously <clears throat> trying to blend in. Running at people in a gimp suit. I'm, I'm impressed. So these, there are sleepy villages of Yatton and Claverham. These are nearby. This was, oh, apparently this was four years ago. And oh, there was widespread alarm. He's, he's been arrested. He's struck on news. 14 separate occasions, <clears throat> uh, approaching both men and women in a range of disguises. Disguises. A range of disguises? A so it's not just a gimp suit. So he was wearing other rubber-based, I assume... Presumably. Sex, sex gear. Sex clothing. Oh, God. Um... Maybe Sightings a, of the rubber-clad like reprobate. A frilly maid dress. I'm just trying to think what else he might have been. Cat girl. <laughs> like a nurse, like a <clears throat> nurse's outfit. Or sexy one. Maybe like cosplay of of stuff. Um, like a Pikachu. Bayonetta. <laughs> I was trying to. I was trying to think. That's, that's where you went. Work. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bayonetta. Who else is popular? And he's like spinning around and he's who's got the two most, guns. Who's the most popular cosplay these days at Comic-Con? Sexy. <sighs> oh, Jinx or someone from League of Legends? It'll be like... Oh, there's always a lot of Harley Quinn. by like... Harley so, Quinn. Oh, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, prob you prob uh, it feels, feels bad, man. I'm uh, so sick of people dressed up as the Joker and Harley Quinn. Right. I know how I got these scars. You're like, actually, I'm not interested. <laughs> Go away. It's like three movies about it. Yeah. Um, so the village of Cleve. Oh. Uh, was 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 a problem. <clears throat> this man was a problem, but now he's been arrested. Is this the case? I don't see that in the article. So, so he was. There was fourteen occasions of him running towards people, scaring them at night, and then I, a, a couple. That's scary enough. If, if he wasn't wearing a gimp suit, even, even, and even if you're in your own home, you're not safe because a couple was sat watching TV or or making love or doing uh, playing Scrabble. Or they whatever. were in their own home. Yeah, and doing then they looked up at the window. Things. They looked at the window and he was staring in at them with his wow. rubber mask on. That is... That is horrendous. That's great. That is horrendous. So they called the police um, and nothing came of this until... It was one of those unknown... Yeah. They should have done like a Netflix he... documentary about it where they were interviewing all these people. <laughs> we was just playing Scrabble. I just put the word flange down. Oh. And my husband <clears> put down <throat> booby. We like to play rude Scrabble. <laughs> well, we can only use that won't make slightly the suggestive. <laughs> <laughs> no, you want something like Quim, right. something with a higher score. Oh, I see. Flange. Quim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flange has got a G in it. G's not bad. It's like a four or a six. Is a G? If you put clitoris down, attached to another word, then you get an extra fifty points for attached using all the, the tiles. Vulva. <laughs> <laughs> How would that work? Well, you know where it is. Yeah, but the... it has to be like the full vest what to be letter do they have vertical. I think <laughs> it has to be vulvas. Vul Plural. Right. So the S is already down. <clears throat> anyway, sorry. Um, it's not a mystery still now. No, no. In it's June, been solved. A young couple near Bristol. In Yatton, which is near Bristol. I don't know where Yatton is. I've never heard of it in my life. Some tiny... I have heard of it. Okay, well, good for you. So it does... Re it's real. It's a real place. And local. Okay. Um, they sprinted home after a man in a gimp suit lurched out of a dark alleyway at them, oh, which is they awful. They sprinted home. 
Um, I love this. So he almost got away with it, but then he started started it up again, and um, and apparently ended up catching him. Right? Did they catch him? They deployed a dog unit and police helicopter. A man in his 30s was subsequently arrested at an address in the local area on suspicion of causing a public nuisance. So they got him. They got their guy. No one has been physically harmed during any of these incidents. This is uh, act acting inspector. Acting inspector, sure. Well, maybe the other ones... Does he review people's performances at the theatre? <laughs> Acting inspector. Acting inspector. It's nothing to do with Cut the police. That's not very funny. <laughs> <laughs> we, can't, we can't be carrying on like this. This is ridiculous. <sighs> just, I think they're trying to determine... Just roll with it. They're trying to determine whether he's the only one involved or whether there were multiple individuals doing this. I mean, it's very creepy and weird. That blurry mask with, it looks like it's got the X's over the eyes. <sighs> like pink thread or tape. And also the mouth has got like pink around it as I well. I understand like... Like the purge. It's like a joke, okay? It's like, let's just give someone a fright, a spook. On Halloween night, why not? I reckon if you yeah, only... he's been doing this throughout the year. You know how it's like that it's like the purge like you said yeah that one night a year when you can get away with this stuff that's what halloween is he Scaring could have done people. this on yeah. halloweens but he's doing it on like a wednesday in march yeah the thing is is he doing this as a sex thing to right to scare people is he getting off on it is the only way he can get off is by scare scaring people. people. <laughs> 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 like, how does it? So is that how they would test him in the police station? It feels really weird because... Does okay, it matter? All right, so the way he's dressed is very sub, right? But the way he's acting is very dom, and that's what's confusing. Right, me, I see. Right? Because he's acting very aggressive towards people, as and the yet, dom would, and yet he's dressed... As a sub would be dressed. It doesn't make sense. I think there's something wrong with this man. <laughs> <laughs> I think we agree. <clears throat> um, finally, we've. I think that's where the story is weird. You're right. That's why yes. something was. That's what's weird about that's it. That's why there was something Absolutely. off about this whole thing. I think you've got to the bottom of it. Um, the bottom of it. Yeah. Anyway, um... The tight, rubberized bottom. Please, please let's move on. Be safe Dear out there. God, yeah, be safe out there if you're in Yatton or Cleve or uh, Clipbridge or wherever it was. Stupid village names. Yeah. Spunkmeister. Yeah, please. Little Bummington. Watch out. <laughs> whatever the fuck. These stupid, stupid <laughs> rural names we have here. Um, so this is the next story. Okay, we're going to try and get through these. I'm looking at the time and I'm like, I, w I want to do as many stories as I can. Um, Let's not break <coughs> the habit of a lifetime. Crime York news! Yorkshire man. York ooh, ooh, ooh. These are... Da, 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 da. Crime news. Stories from the UK, which is great. Honestly, yeah. I think it's nice to have a bit of local crime. Otherwise, it'd be all about people doing meth in Florida. Yeah, and we uh, some of those crime stories are a bit deathy. You Very know, grim. There's a lot of people. Someone's usually been killed. You know, by a stray crossbow bolt or some collapsing rubble or a plane or someone's at wild animals. Savage someone got someone. bit off a snake. Yeah, mm. someone's someone's got on a bit off a snake, and that this is much UK more, crimes much more whimsical. In it nature. is <laughs> Yorkshire man's torment. Yeah, as mystery stranger keeps <clears throat> yelling porridge through his letterbox. I'm at my wit's end. If this is you, grow up. So I can do the Yorkshire accent. I wonder immediately. Kind my of. feeling is, I wonder whether you know how sometimes you are just coming out of the shower. And you yeah. hear your phone ping or d ding, or you hear like, a, a, like an echoing bit, and you think, was that the doorbell? Or was that like 
You know what I mean? When you hear a sound, a phantom sound. Right, yeah. And you go to your phone and there's no text, or you go to the door and there's no one there. Oh, it's, it's like when you're in bed and you think you can hear, like, uh, a woman screaming from your basement. But you realise you killed her, so she's not, <laughs> she's not able to Did get Did I kill her or not, though? You've got to, I think I killed her think, a couple of weeks ago, right? Think. I think the body's still down there. Be careful, Alex. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> killing Alex here. Um, so, yeah, I wonder whether he's just phantom hearing porridge and it's not actually happening. You know what I'm saying? Are there any other witnesses? That, was that... Did I just hear... Did some fucker shout porridge through my fucking letterbox again? I reckon that's... He's getting angry. He's going to the front door. He's opening it. There's no fucker here. And he's questioning himself. And then the neighbour's looking, nosing over through the window, seeing him open his door again. He's lost his mind, hasn't he? He's lost his bloody mind. Have we got his name? He's yelling up and down the street. No, he's an anonymous man. He's an anonymous man. But he's at his wit's end and is pleading to this porridge whisperer. Well, he's not whispering, <laughs> is he? Porridge whisperer. If he was whispering, it would be <laughs> way weirder. So, what do they, what's porridge in America? Oats? Rolled oats? Whatever? Yeah, sure. Steel oatmeal. Steel cut, oatmeal. rolled oats, oatmeal, whatever. That's what porridge is, if you're confused. Oatmeal? Sure. Um, so this, this, the, the weird, the weirdo, <laughs> I can't say that, the, this poor man, victim of uh, abuse and harassment, he is from Booth, Booth Town in Halifax. Interesting. Um, and for three weeks, in the middle of the night, um, someone has been shouting strange things about porridge, <laughs> not just the word porridge, because <clears throat> originally I thought it was going to be like bogey. They're not just saying the one word. Porridge. 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 Well, I thought, Porridge. No, but listen, Porridge. listen to what they are shouting. Do the weird ones. Okay, where are we? Um, <laughs> Porridge time, Papa Bear. <laughs> Eat it before it goes cold, Papa. It's my special porridge. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, before you ask, no porridge has actually been left at any time. It's just the voice. Talking about porridge. Yeah. The, the, um, it's just someone who is... On their way back from the pub. Possibly. But why this one man? Why are they targeting this one man? We need Sherlock Holmes <clears throat> to get onto this kind of... This is, this is how we reboot... Sherlock. Sherlock. Again. Season whatever. Benedict Cumberbatch. No, we back. don't. We don't want that. We want other people involved. <laughs> okay. We well, whatever. We get some some new person. Yeah, a new showrunner. And let's get Russell T. Get Davis. to the bottom of this stuff. Let's have a gay black Sherlock Holmes as well. Right. It's about time. Um, I'm I'm down for that. As long as they can... And Watson's his salt. mother. I mean, people have already, like, done that anyway, on the internet, right? John Locke, or whatever it is they call it. Is it John Locke? Oh. Uh, not that I... <laughs> not that I've been looking on Tumblr or anything, <laughs> or any other website, specifically. Uh, what's uh, Something. Sure, uh, whatever. Mm. It doesn't matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like... Porridge! If this was... <laughs> We need to find out. We need to find out. It, it can't be that hard. It's like you said, it's probably someone coming over from the pub. Yeah. We just need to. Why doesn't he get a camera set up? That would solve it. Get a ring. It's definitely going to happen other again. Things are available. I only know of ring, though, but there are other. Here's the problem no, now, things. though. What's happened is Cameras. The, the, the public knowledge of this event will encourage copycats. So right. now, even if you caught someone who was yelling porridge to someone's door, we can't ever know that it was originally them. They might just be capitalised, you know, they might just be joining in. Because of this story, there may, may now be hundreds of people doing this. This is what I'm country. saying. Yeah. Like the baked bean pourers, you know? Oh, God, this again. The people who pour baked beans through people's... What is it with doing stuff to people's letterboxes? What was the guy that was, like, writing... Penis Lord or whatever on graffiti. What was that story? Penis Man. Pen was it Penis Man? Penis Man, yeah. He was writing... 
And and they were like, there's thousands of us. You can't catch us all. That's it was right. that kind of thing. Yeah. It's, the movement has become more. The penis man movement. Sure. Sure. It's kind of a thrust, I imagine. <laughs> I would hope so. So, do you, would you be... Do you, do you like... Do you like... Before we move on, do you like... Um, porridge. Porridge yelling. Did you see what people people said on the online when this got posted on Facebook? Someone replied with, "Could be a serial killer." It's a. I mean, it's a little bit of a leap, but I, I don't mind it. Personally, I'd get my locks changed just in case. I recommend Goldilocks. <laughs> That's very witty. Very witty. Very witty. Uh, Ricardo Hot. Oh no. Ricardo Hodge and Joe McGrath separately making jokes on Twitter in response. I'm glad that you're crediting, credited, to, credited. Well, I don't thing. want to be a joke thief. You know, there's already enough crime going on without me stealing the funnies from other people. Do you, uh, does, he, does he? Does he? Does this guy deserve it? Does he deserve to have? He that might be a real fucking through? prick. We don't know. Maybe they should yell. Is, but is this his nickname? Like, has he done time? Like, maybe he looks like a bear. Maybe he... Yeah, maybe... Maybe he actually just looks like a big, ha hairy bear. Is this one of his family members or mates? What does... Does Porridge mean anything to this guy? You know? Or is it He's just... He's not letting us know if, if there because is. Because they might be doing it in the wrong house. Do you know what I mean? It could be, you know, maybe he got drunk one night. It was someone stag do and he fucked a ball of porridge. Right. And his mates know him now as, you know, Papa Bear, fuck it, porridge fucker, whatever. And one of them <laughs> comes back from the pub, knows where he lives, and keeps yelling about porridge for his letterbox. But he like wouldn't post on the fate on the Halifax. That's where my brain went. I Oh, he's a porridge fucker, obviously. <laughs> It all makes sense. I didn't dispute it. I was completely in agreement. That that is the most likely explanation. Yeah, exactly. Expectation. Thank you. Yes. Porridge fucker. I'm kind of a modern day Sherlock Holmes. Well, I would not want to say. You know. Clearly, the man is a porridge fucker. <laughs> Smoking my pipe, playing my violin really badly. Give you, a, give me a harder, a bunch you of want a harder one. Yeah, you know, whatever else one. Sherlock does. Bring the next crime story on. I'm opening up my drink. Did we solve Give the first one? We did, didn't we? The gimp. Solve it? <laughs> we didn't solve it. The police arrested him. No, a we, it's like I'm a puzzle speaking. thing. It's, for us, us it's not the, a puzzle. We've solved this one. Porridge fucker. Case closed. Next one. <laughs> Move on. Uh, oh, it's going to make me burp now. Now I'm drinking fizzy drink. Uh, I guess he didn't intend for this to go viral. He just w wanted to post it locally. Yeah, it was on uh, Fifty Shades of Halifax Facebook group. What does that even mean? Fifty? How is that even a joke? It's not like a pun, is it? it Fifty doesn't... Shades of Halifax. Sure, it's a Facebook group. But why? That says what, everything. Is Halifax you need to know. called like the Grey City or something? Or like what? Yeah. Why is it? Yeah. That's its own mystery. Also, they all fuck porridge. <laughs> that would really go <laughs> a long way towards explaining what's going on. Is anyone from Halifax in the chat? Can you this confirm? is what I'm looking at. No one's giving me shit, apart from it is a bit of a shithole TBH, says Sof T. Oh, hello. Can't wait for Sherlock, Simon and Sidekick Brindles to try and take down the Bristol Pusher. Not helping. Um, Plot twist. He's still out there. He's still out there, and they'll never catch hit you here. <coughs> him, sugar, <coughs> sugar mochi. There you go. Just uh... sugar mochi. Oh, my merch is available. Look at the Yogg's Car store. Buy my Kluber merch that Mochi's drawn. There we go. Here, if you could edit in. Oh, we're live, aren't we? I've been in a Halifax bank. It was pretty shit. Does that count? Halifax Miosis? bank. No, that doesn't, doesn't count. count. That doesn't count. Has anyone been? Any Halifaxes? No one knows. I live near Halifax and it wouldn't we surprise have, me. We have no info. You're no. not helpful at all, chat. This is, you know, you're supposed to be, you know, the wisdom of crowds. The wisdom of crowds? Aren't That's crowds, like, famously stupid? No, the wisdom, like, you can always get an answer from, like, a lot of people. It's like, ask the audience and who wants to be a millionaire. Oh, yeah. They're not always right, though, are they? No. But someone is right in there. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Is that vodka, by the way? Not today. Okay. We've got stuff to Just do checking. after. 
Okay, crime news. Our third story today. Um, a cute picture of a squirrel. Let's get to the bottom of this one. We'll try and solve this mystery. <laughs> That's what we're doing <laughs> <Okay>. now. <laughs> my neighbour has destroyed my garden by throwing peanuts. It's out of control. It's out of control. <clears throat> so where is this? Well, there's mention of raccoons. Yeah, that so doesn't sound like Brit Britain. Reddit. America. A, it seems to be based in I don't America. think it says where in particular. Okay, but somewhere well, in America. It's great, great reporting, <laughs> Ellie Fry, senior lifestyle writer. Somewhere in America. Okay, so the neighbour's got a strange habit which throws... They throw buckets of peanuts and other foods onto her lawn every single day. And it's been attracting all sorts of animals to this person's lawn. And it's, it's causing havoc, not just to their lawn, but to other people's gardens. Because all the animals are flooding there on a daily basis to get their... Like Noah's Ark. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> just animals, you know, the animals swarming. Have to be like Rounded up to go on Noah's Ark. They didn't just. Oh, a boat! Oh, that'll come in handy. You'll hear there's a flood coming. Well, every time I've seen board. anyone, it's all the animals <laughs> all rushing in at the last second, right. as if they were like, the we didn't really down. believe it either. Right. <laughs> you know, all those idiots who are going to get drowned. Everyone like they all they all get very organised. The dolphins are just like cackling to themselves. Yes. So. This is, I mean, obviously neighbourly disputes, right? People do stupid shit and hate, neighbours like, hate each like other. Like dumping loads of sunflower seeds outside of where they live and, and then it attracts the seagulls and then they shit on someone's boat. You know, just off the top of my head, just a random example. Okay. Not specifically about anyone in particular that did that. Right. And revealed on a previous episode of Peculiar Portions that... I don't quite remember. I don't quite remember A man shouted at you. That. You were doing it and a man shouted at you. Uh, There's tracks of bloody seagulls. They shit all over me, boy. I know. I remember this. Yeah. yeah. But I, I wasn't doing that <clears throat> on purpose to him. I wasn't throwing them on his boat. Well, that's... I mean, it is on this... It's not on the neighbour's lawn. They're not dumping it on their lawn. Yeah, but that man dumping it... is living on a fucking riverboat. He does not own... The river is not his garden. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> fucking riverboat men. <laughs> it's a, gotta be a, there's a certain type Don't of listen, person. Daph. Don't listen. There's a certain type of person who lives on a riverboat. Just saying. <clears throat> right, you yeah. know... So you made up with that man. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Let's just That's say fine. someone's going to be peering in through the window of his riverboat wearing a rubber gimp mask. Oh, what are you doing in there? Playing Scrabble? I'd be worried he'd end up in the fucking canal. Well, if he knows what's good for him, he won't mess with me anymore. What <laughs> the <laughs> I think this is a confession. Is this a confession? <laughs> Porridge. What's happening? Papa Bear. <clears throat> Sorry, so... So obviously, so it's an old lady. It's an older lady. Lives a few houses down from the op, and throws bucketfuls of peanuts, cat food, bird food, and scraps and stuff all over the neighbourhood. So she's clearly on their lawn. an animal lover. Yeah, but she's there's a few of this in Bristol littering. too. There's people who dump like um, bags of. Oats and okay. like um, and popcorn kernels, you know, like and for the birds, right? Okay. And they just empty like a huge sack next to a tree in Queen Square or somewhere. Are these this. things safe for them? I don't think so. I and that mostly they just get eaten by the rats or go mouldy. The oats, I'm kind of worried about because they just absorb water. They're not the rolled oats though. <coughs> They're like the crunchier oat. oat oats from oatmeal. Are squashed, aren't they? They're like flat. They're like processed. What? <laughs> what? They're not the same. Okay. They're different. Are oh, they? Yeah, it's like flour versus gr grains. Right. So they're different. Anyway. Okay. People do this in the street because they love animals. Yes. So the old lady. It's clearly... like those people who love God out in the street. 
and they want to save everyone. <laughs> they want to save you. They love people and they want their souls yeah. to be saved from Satan. Right. They're doing it for our good. You get the help. You get those. Well, they think broad mead. Exactly. So it's just like that. I have a lot to say about gay people often. R right. Um, I'm surprised I don't get the shit beaten out of them. <laughs> well, there's Honestly. not the gays. The gays are not a violent mob <laughs> looking for for gay revenge out there on the streets. As far as I know, <clears throat> um, they're pretty chill folks mostly. Okay. They just want to be left alone. <laughs> Um, anyway, all I'm saying is, someone loves animals. This old woman, she's looking out for the local environment. She's thinking the cats, she loves the cats, she loves the birds. Well, it's squirrels and raccoons and stuff. And she wants to make sure the ones that are in her neighbour's gardens are also fed. She's doing a service. She goes outside and screams at birds and the squirrels all the time for fighting. Yeah, because she's like, she's like, don't fight your brothers! <laughs> Don't fight with each other. Like, she's obviously... <laughs> oh, my God. That's it's like, what it is. It's like me and my fucking two cats when they're fighting. Learn to love each other. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You've known each other your whole life. Come on. You can live in peace. And it's like that. You're, you're, the, you're the, the, the police, the acting inspector. And the cat police. For... You're giving him a, a real... <laughs> <laughs> Such a sh cut that one. That cut terrible that. joke. Cut that out. Um, the squirrels and raccoons have destroyed just about everyone's yard in the neighbourhood by digging holes. Sorry. So the the concern here is that why are they digging the are they digging holes to s s hide the food? Sometimes you just like digging holes. Maybe they, it's just a hobby. So she's giving out all this food. They're hiding the food. Ah, uh, yeah, And yeah, storing yeah. it away. Right, that's why they'll be digging the holes. And then she's like, oh, the food's gone. They must be still hungry. <laughs> and so she's chucking more out. So if someone goes out into Queen Square and they dig up some of it, they'll find like a hoard of Jaffa cakes that I've buried. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the like spring, Every, summer, and autumn, of like gotta get through those, those winter months. Yeah, back when you were being sent a packet of Jaffa cakes a week, you'd be like going out there and burying it and come and get a new one. I'm just like looking around. I put like some windbreakers up so people can't see what I'm doing. It's kind of like your pension, isn't it? It's your it old is. age pension. Yeah, yeah. But when when this doesn't it's my nest pan day. out, you know, you'll be able to go and dig up all those old Jaffas. That's gold. Yeah, those Jaffas, orange gold. Mm. All right, cut that. I'm trying, to, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to work on advertising for the Jaffa. Um, yeah, so is this illegal? Is this against the rules? Is this a problem for her to be throwing, throwing food out? Yeah, animal control and people might be upset with her because you can't just feed wildlife like that because it, it attracts vermin and it messes up stuff and it's, it's bad and she can get fines and stuff. So it's not allowed? It shouldn't, I don't, I don't think it is. Can she but do I it, don't know she, can she do it on her own land? I don't, maybe, I don't think, I mean, are they gonna throw the book at her? Is she gonna go, is she gonna do time? <laughs> uh, I mean, she wouldn't survive in prison. Oh, she'll be fine. She'll be there in her prison cell and she'll like save a bit of her dinner and she'll put it like by the window and then like a raccoon will appear. <coughs> what, did, what noise do they make? Like that. God, probably. <coughs> like that? <laughs> it's like the chupacabra. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's a cryptid. It's a man in a rubber gimp. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> peering through the bars. So Porridge. Is, so there is a crime here. Time for your porridge, mama bear. How do you She's solve? doing porridge. Oh, oh my God. That was the meaning. <sighs> He's done, porridge is turned to in time. Por it's slang for, for, yeah, for going to prison and doing time, doing bird, yeah. Maybe that's what. Norman Stanley Fletcher. <laughs> <laughs> a sitcom called, called yeah, Porridge. It's, Probably all right. Probably aged. Long Probably ago. Okay. Um, so how do we solve this? What's our solution? Um, well, first of all, if you were Sherlock, we either need to, well, we know who's doing it, so we don't need Sherlock. What we need to do is we need to stop this happening. So either one, 
It's a distraction <coughs> from the it's, real issue. Because actually, this wouldn't be too far off an, uh, like an original like Conan Doyle Sherlock story. And this would be like all a red herring, a distraction, and a real crime is being committed. And she's going out every day, and people are thinking, oh, it's, animals are digging up holes. Animals aren't digging up holes. People are coming in the middle of the night, digging up holes, looking for a buried treasure. So that's why she's doing it, to mask up like her like grandsons that are trying to find this hidden treasure that's on this in this neighbourhood. Yeah, you'd find like, he'd be able to tell because there'd be like a gold doubloon in like a crow's nest or something. You know, and, and the crow had found part of the treasure when it was like oh. digging around and it had taken it out. And that was like, that was like, the, and everyone would be like, what? But Sherlock would know. He'd be like, he'd already have worked it out from day one. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Or she's like murdered her husband <gasps> and she's been like, Feeding him in like in the scraps gradually, oh and like getting rid of him. God. And they find like finger bones and things and like teeth. Oh in the my nest. fucking god! She's been like cleavering him up in the basement and just mixing it into the like the meal that she throws out. Holy Hoping shit! Open the rats and stuff, and all these local vermin are swarming her place and taking away getting parts rid, getting of, rid of him. her dead husband. Yeah. But why did she kill him? For the life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> it's the oldest trick in the book. Yeah. She She's wants gone to, missing. She wants to sell up the house. Move to the seaside. Well, that's no, because the house wouldn't sell for very much if she's lo it's lowering. And she's lowering property, the property prices. Value. Maybe that's it. She's deliberately lowering property prices, so her all of her friends can move to from the area. Bridge club, or so she can buy up. The neighbourhood yeah. cheap and build a warehouse. And there, build a, a block factory, of flats. And sell it to the international... An animal sanctuary. Animal sanctuary. She wants to build an animal sanctuary. For vermin. Yeah, but she's not going to knock down any of the houses. The animals are going to live in, in all the them. houses. Well, they're perfectly good houses. Yeah. They're not really using them very well, all these local people. Imagine like a bear comes down the stairs just scratching his ass. <laughs> His hair's like all bedraggled. It's early in the morning. He opens up the fridge. There's like a human head in there. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Leftovers. Yeah. Yeah. Would he have to warm it up? We put it in the microwave, yeah. But would you eat like the human head like at fridge temperature? Do you know what I mean? Well, you'd like eat a slice of ham out of the fridge. Fridge temperature, you wouldn't mind, would you? I'm more likely to eat a slice of gouda. A slice of, well, but. Just stood there. I don't know if bears can eat cheese. In front of the fridge, late at night. They probably no can't lights digest. on apart from the light out of the fridge. The two cats swarming around my ankles trying to trip me over. They'd be going for that slice of gouda. Well, they probably can't eat gouda either. So I don't think it's good for them. No. I don't think it's any gouda for. <laughs> Cut that! Cut that one. Well, there we go. That's a good place to end that. We've, okay. we've tried. Crime news. Crime news. Did you enjoy crime news chat? I think that was crime how long news. We, how long have we done, Alex and Tom? This is about the time I asked this question. And you yeah. Did. You've done about 4 50 minutes. 50, but that's time for a break then, for a cup of tea. If you want, we can have a few minutes break. Shall I do another one? Yes. Do we normally do another we'll one? Do it. We're going till 5, Lewis. Well, that's not enough time for another one. It's plenty of time. Well, they've got to be like 40 minutes, haven't they? Or 50 minutes? When are we going till? Fine, you've got 40 minutes. This is a bumper episode. Yeah. Well, so this is all part of the same one. Yeah. Oh. I mean, we've got more articles. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, well, we'll have a break. We'll stretch our legs. Okay. Well, you know, um, I'm just, so what? It's going to be part of the same episode, is it? Okay, fine. I don't mind. We're not, how are we going to get ahead if we're not, you know? <laughs> Because <laughs> we normally record two at once, I'm just saying. I know we're having this argument now and we shouldn't. <laughs> They're looking at me like an idiot. I'm an idiot. Sorry, I know we're live. All right, we'll stop. Um, we'll have a break, shall we? Yes. Let's see, all right. Let's make a cup of tea. Cut to the uh, break. It'll be a few minutes. We'll just get it set up, guys, for part two. Let's out, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. We're back. We're back. Mods. 
we're going to have another poll. This time, animal, consumer, and food. If we can do what our next topic of discussion, our next three stories, if we have time. We only got half an hour. We're going to do three stories, ideally. Stop looking at my spot, you <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> so I mentioned it. Now you're just staring at it! It's very hard not to look it's at It's abuse! <laughs> Uh, uh. I wish I never said anything! <laughs> well, I didn't notice it until you mentioned it, and now I can't unsee it. It's gigantic. I can feel it's it. It's under the surface. Can, yeah, it's really annoying. It big and like. I had oh. one like that last week. But fortunately, I was away, so no one saw it. I it might right, just, it's almost it's ready to go. Almost. It might just disappear and dissipate. Right, yeah, I it think may so. Not over the like next 20 minutes. Yeah. Anything. Well, maybe not in 20 minutes. <laughs> you, you, we need to get like an ice pack on that bad boy. It's taking over. It's threatening to what? like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's going. It's going. Animal news is in the lead. Oh, everyone's favourite animal news, which leaves uh, consumer and food to do. I hate the ones that just just under record. the skin that you you. Th Stop doing it! <laughs> <laughs> so I'll distract you with you know. Other <coughs> Almost stuff. inhaled my tea there. What you didn't have yelled at me. <laughs> <sighs> My Yorkshire Sea Biscuit Brew! <coughs> this is how I want to go! <coughs> Choking the on. The crime news was great today. You liked it? Yeah, top news. My very god, normally you're very critical and you say, shit, this wasn't news, zero out of ten. Yeah, but I think you got some good ones. Because normally we don't have so much of a choice, you know? So well, much of I a made an snack effort. selection, if you will. I made an effort to prep for this, because it's a live show. It's like one of those <coughs> boxes of biscuits you sometimes get in the... Life is like a box of biscuits. <laughs> it's the English Some, version of... Sometimes you get ginger nuts. Well, I guess that's true. Give him the Oscar. Give him the Oscar. He deserves Where's it. Where's the acting inspector? <laughs> Animal has won. Sixty-two percent of chat. All right. Did we do a re? Uh, another in re welcome. Part two. Welcome back to Simon's. Pee pee. There we go. Animal news. Animal news. Rawr. Rawr. Which animal's that? You choose. It's all of them. Every animal. All blended together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, uh... I think I hear them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when they... It's like a frog in there. I was thinking like the Tarzan yell, how they like combined a bunch of shit and reversed it or whatever. Or, was, or am I thinking of Jurassic Park? <laughs> the <broad laughs> the With the T-Rex. Whatever. Whatever. I and see then, what yeah. they combined, like a rhino and an elephant. <laughs> Yeah, they took a crocodile <laughs> and uh, a seagull. Uh, yeah, maybe that's, that's three pigeons, uh, a rat, and a rabbit. I can hear those the three pigeons. Yes, definitely. Okay, well we've got twenty seven minutes to do three animal news stories. Um, that's more than enough time. Let's let's start with the best. Pick one. the best one. Let's start with the best one. Hit me with your best shot. Spe <clears throat> speaking of wonderful actors. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage, everyone. He's also an actor. And here he is today. He isn't here. It's that would have us. been fucking good if you'd done that. <clears throat> it would. Can we edit that in? <laughs> can, we, can we have CG? What the fuck are you talking about? Can we CG in? Can we CG in? Yeah. Nick, just like John Travolta just sidling in to the PP set. Yeah. Hello, I'm Nicholas Cage. <laughs> I was available. <laughs> I need the work. <laughs> I used to have that big tax bill to be more of. Uh, uh, I don't know why he talks like that. I think that's that is actual, a quirky actual voice. Well, you know. So the headline, and this is from Yahoo Entertainment, so you know this is good. Uh, how Nicholas Cage and his love of cats inspired a new art show. I don't think Nicholas Cage loves cats. Wow. I think it could be just for show. He knows that people love cats, so anyone who professes to love cats must be a good person. You're besmirching the good name of Nicolas Cage here. I am. And just bear in mind... I'm not his, besmirching, I'm questioning His the good surname name. 
it begins C-A, much like the word cat. Yes, but also so, his surname is Cage, which is the antithesis of a cat. No, an antithesis of a cat is a dog. Right, no, you're right, you're right. <laughs> so, so if his name was John... If you John... go to Webster's and you look up uh, antonym of cat, it says dog. Right, if instead Nicholas Cage's name was Nicholas Doge... Right. Then you really would question that he loved cats. I would certainly be questioning him okay. if he's like a crypto bro. What's happened to them? What weird shit are you into? They've disappeared, haven't they? Thank <clears> God. <throat> they've vanished off the face of the earth. I think it's because they just started all losing lots of money. Yeah, and it's very embarrassing. Yeah. Poor. The grift has poor, sort of come to an end. bros. Maybe. Anyway, look, we're not talking about the story. We haven't even got much, much time. We've got five minutes to finish this story. Run I, don't, timer. I think that's going to be plenty of time, judging by the context of this article. This is so fucking stupid, by the way. I mean, I, mm. I suspect that you think that already. Yes, but um, please carry on. Susan Michaels is a serious cat lady. She even started CatCon. Please, no. What do you think CatCon is? Of course, it's a convention where people can bring their cats to buy cat-related crap. Um, but it's about cats. Yeah, it's got lots of cat talks, how, how to groom your cat, how to how you feed your cat, cat health, cat funeral arrangements, cat friend, friend meeting ups, cat, how to, cat babies, how to, cat shows, cat theater, cat puppets, cat related crap. Yeah, I could, I could feel I could cat con. Have you been there? To, <laughs> How do you know? To, How do you know these things? I'm sure. That's everything that's on there. <laughs> Over two days, they have all of that. That's crazy. Well, I've been doing enough of these. I thought you were allergic to them. I, I, I am. Um, Is that why you have to wear the gimp suit? <laughs> the rubber gimp suit? Yeah, with the cat ears on. Well, obviously. there was that time my cat... <clears throat> went missing and I had to run out of the house still wearing the gimp suit. Right. And I thought it was behind this young couple. So I yeah. came barreling out of the alleyway. Yeah. Came. I think I gave them a bit of a fright. Right. They sprinted off home. But I did, what, what I did, did you find, yell at them? I was just yelling. Um, well, cause my cat's called Porridge. <laughs> so I was yelling. <laughs> this is a callback. Good. If you haven't Very seen part good. one. Very good. Oh, sorry. sorry. Very good. So... Easily, if you can fill a two-day cat con, because there's a lot of cat people out there. They love their cats. Do you know what? Their world probably revolves around their cats, and good for them. There are cat people out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! You're one of them. Oh my god! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> and not even the royal family. No! No! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! No! This is what Mechanus does. Does that to me. The head butts me. Jesus, that was pretty serious. He d he's strong. He's a big lad. He's a big boy. Why, why, did he, why does he do that? Is he alright? He just wants attention. What, what does he need? Does he need love? What does he, what does he... What do you do? I didn't know what to do when you were doing that. I didn't know whether to kiss you or like, you know, run away. I didn't know what you wanted. I was confused. Honestly, I'm relieved now <laughs> that you're confused and you didn't know what to I do. just, I was just, I didn't know what, oh my God. where to go. Oh my God. This will be in Jingle Cats, right? Gwen Free, please don't clip any of this or use it in Jingle Cats. Oh um, my God. We'll sue you. You don't have the rights to this footage. Yeah, we'll sue. Yeah, we'll DMCA you. So Nicolas Cage uh, has been promoting this is an advert. This is the advert bit. This is an advert! This is the advert bit. Not an advert! He's promoting a movie the called... The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. In which he declared his adopted cat, Merlin... He has a cat. In the show, this. in the in the thing. No, he has a movie. cat. In the movie. IRL. No, I'm he was confused. talking about the cat in an interview. He kept talking about his cat, Merlin. In an interview about promoting his movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the cat in the movie or was it his... I don't cat. think the cat's anything to do with the film. Okay. He's just, in an interview, he, kept, he keeps on being asked the same questions. And he's like, I'd rather just talk about my cat, I, if that's okay. I know you only have ten minutes. This is fine. I'm going to spend he's, nine and a half talking about my cat. So he says, my best friend is a cat. His name is Merlin. He's an unusual cat. 
He's very affectionate. That is unusual, yeah. He loves contact. Sometimes he'll jump into bed and he'll hug me. Uh, you know, I'll actually think it's my wife. Nope, it's Merlin. And oh my God. it's just an amazing kind of loving, affectionate energy that's coming off of that cat. He's a real sweetheart. So that's No, he's a real, a real sweetheart. Well, I mean, that... Says it twice. Somewhere. I don't know how to do his voice. <coughs> we can't. I can't do an impression. Put the bonnet back in the box. <laughs> I look like a jackass. <laughs> oh no! That's not right, is it? <laughs> oh, face stupid. My snake skin jacket is a sign of my individuality. <laughs> That's Nicolas Cage's accent. So, yeah, it just sounds different in real life. Um, yeah. Mostly just talks about his cats. So what has this got to do with CatCon, you might ask? What does it have to, is, what does it have to do with CatCon? Nothing. I don't know. It's, <laughs> I assumed it as an art show. So it's a second look, advert. Look, someone's done a bad picture of... That uh, is unbelievably bad. Nicolas Cage and his cat, but with like a blonde wig on, it its, looks, on its head. It's like a sh shadow, a shadow demon, isn't it, that cat? Except like with weird out. human hair. Bad equals amazing? No. Bad <sighs> equals bad. Look how weird he looks as well. He looks like a sort of cherub. And what's he wearing there? Is that clothes or is that his badly, is that like a low poly naked body with like a piece of lettuce lapels. on his shoulder? You think his oh, naked body has lapels? I don't know what he's wearing there. What's happened to his neck? He's got a very fat looking neck. It feels like it's not finished, is it? Like right. he's wearing a green suit and she didn't finish. There's no detail thing. on that cat at all. I mean, I understand. This is, this is uh, a piece called Wild at Art. Wild at Heart. Right, right, right. Sorry, God. No, hard to... Sorry, yeah. No. Nicholas, Nicholas From CatCon. Film. CatCon um, have provided that. Vanessa Stockard is the artist behind that. Oh, oh of course, they got the, 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 the cat art show, uh, which is a separate event to... The CatCon. Cat Con. So it's nothing to do with CatCon. Why did they even meant? Oh no, the art show's debuting at this year's CatCon. Oh, that's a different show. That's the. That's, just, oh. that's different to the Cat Art Show. This is the unbearable weight of genius cat art. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> <laughs> is Nicolas Cage being embraced by a giant cat? He looks quite Hanksy in there, though, doesn't he? Do you know what I mean that could easily you could have easily told me that was Tom Hanks being embraced by a giant cat, and I would have it could be. believed it. Missing a new tab. Do you know what I'm saying? There we go. That's better. Wow, that's wonderful. I would buy that honestly. And these pieces they range from what was it? $300 to $5,000. <coughs> Only seven pieces. Right. So um, some of them have already oh, been sold. Wow. Well, the good ones, I'm probably... guessing. This is the next one. <laughs> wow. That's a giant cat. And it's got Nicolas Cage's head sort of in the wallpaper yeah. in the background. It, it's kind of scary. Wow. I think it's <coughs> kind of... Okay. C is for... Cat store Troy, which is his, f is that his face off cat? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it looks like your face from Vampire's Kiss, though. Is that a film reference? We don't know, Tom. Alex, you don't. I don't, I don't know. Alex is nodding, and Tom's shaking his head. Neither of them. I think they it were was faced off. Cast, cast a tr They cast were like yes Troy. or what no. We don't know. Name. Yes, we don't know, and no, we don't know. Okay, <laughs> so you both did a different expression to say that you didn't know. Great stuff. We'll edit that out. We'll edit out Lewis being mean. I'm not being stuff. mean. I'm just like, it's weird how we do that, though. <clears throat> people were like, do you disagree? And then people were like, yeah. yes, I disagree. No, I don't dis I don't. I, I do I, this. I don't disagree. Like, and then you just read into it, whether I'm uh, you might as well shaking just... my head or nodding. But like, uh, well, uh, why do we have, why is, <clears throat> why is it not clear? Is this why we have, for people... <laughs> This is why we are where we are. We need more rules <laughs> on how to not, how to communicate. Look, what? right. 
A dollar from each admission to CatCon will go to one of three different cat charities. And um, I'll take it back. The organization has donated over $330,000 to these charities. Great and stuff. 700 kittens have been adopted. Wow. So she hasn't reached out to Nicolas Cage, but she hopes that he'll attend. <laughs> How will he know? How will he know? Well, he probably watches this. How long ago was this? This is September, I think. When's this going out, Alex? It's live. <laughs> it's live. This is live, Lewis. Well, if you're watching you now, CatCon. <laughs> if you're watching now, CatCon. You like cats. Might still be available. Nicholas Cage. Your first two so, letters of your surname are cat. Just cat think con. about that. And it will be back in 2020. It's already happened. It's, happened. it's, it's already happened. happened. You can go. It. Celebrities were there. Next year. Were they? Which Nathan ones? the Cat Lady and Sterling Trap King Davis. He doesn't sound like a good person to be around with cats. You a don't cat want to, named cats don't Squirrel. want to be in traps. Um, Fennel was there. Is Ashley Morrison. One-Eared Uno. Um, Baby Wants Candy were performing. What the fuck? <laughs> what is any of this? What is any of this? I don't know what any of that is. It's confusing. It's, people, it's famous local people. I don't know. We don't, we don't know. They're probably really big in South Florida, wherever this is. Oh, we're so far behind schedule. We've got to do two more animal news stories. That's fine. What's okay. on after us? Well, this one's basically just a video, right? Nothing. It, we'll see if the video's still fucking or is up there something? live. There's something on after <clears throat> us. Right. Okay, here we go. So, a coyote. We're carrying on, are we? Uh. <laughs> Carrying on. <laughs> I've had enough. I'm, I'm flagging. Let's carry on. We've got more stories to I'm do. I'm excited. A coyote or coyote uh, was removed from uh, the bathroom of a Californian school, and there is a video of this. Um, but I don't know if there's any. Inf the coyote was spotted around the school multiple times, and and it, it found its way in. And for some reason, it's in it's in this. This bathroom. Um, okay. I don't so know. They, so it's just, it's just there, Aww. scared in a little. Well, what it's done is it's found a nice source of water. Look how embarrassed it Like looks. an oasis, you know, in the desert. It's been throughout the whole school and there was nothing to drink. Poor little dude. Um, oh. And now and this is the releasing it into the beautiful <laughs> building site. Or <laughs> what is it? A dried up river? It could. There he is. It could be, but it also could be like a dirt Come bike on. course. There you go. There you go. There you go. You're free. Off into you the go. garbage piles and <laughs> what, stuff. Off with you. Whatever this is. Is this a dried river? It's got like tracks on it. It doesn't know where it's fucking. It instantly gets hit by like a fucking <laughs> juggernaut going through here. Off he goes. I, I hope he's got friends and stuff, around, like a source of food. No, no way. Are you mad? He hasn't got. He's miles from his friends, probably. Uh, well, then it can't be that fight. They probably just dropped off around the corner. Um, I I, look, so. Let's just assume that all ended happily. Yeah, the, the, the coyote didn't die. This to me doesn't <clears throat> seem like news. I assume this shit's happening all the time. What do you mean? In America or in places like this. What would be an equivalent story of this? In, in Canada, the there's like mooses walking into the school, and in the UK, there's pigeons and seagulls getting into if the classroom. If there was a moose walking into a school, that would be in this. Is that the next fucking article you found? No. In America, in Australia, there's like kangaroos walking in and dingo, dingoes get in there and, and the crocodiles and alligators in Florida probably get yeah. in and padding around. But what would we have Taking in some classes. We're, we're too boring. We killed all of our local It'd wildlife hundreds of years ago. We, got, we ain't got any school. predators or anything. <clears throat> this, uh, this, this happens all the time. Do you know what? Actually, we're lucky it didn't get shot. Just putting it out there. This could have gone way worse, couldn't it? It could have been some kid who was armed, you know. 
for protection, concealed carry legally, <laughs> according to all the state rules. <laughs> I'm just saying this Coyote got off light. It could have been, it could have ended way worse. This, and mm. we should be happy. Mm. Yes. That Officer Will <clears throat> Luna responded when he Thank did. Thank you, Officer Will Luna. And used non-lethal force to submit su to to subdue the the subdue, the, it, yeah. the Coyote. offender. Yeah. And release him back into the dirt shithole where he lived. And I probably has his babies in that fucking garbage dump. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Anyway, that was a short one. Because I, I think it has to be. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. So well, move on. Did we do this story? Did we do this story before? Red squirrel captured after shutting <coughs> down Scottish bakery for days. Uh, no, I don't I, think we did. It's a. Tom's shaking his head. Alex is nodding. He, no, he's shaking his head now. We need to get sick. We need to be like more like a SWAT team here. We, need to... yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> we need like symbols, <laughs> like a little shadow pop. We need just to communication better, please. Do we need to learn like sign language, <clears throat> and then we can just yeah, or just learn how to nod? Just what? Just. All we need to do is yes and no. Or I don't know. <laughs> or uh, I don't know. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's just what's confusing is when I ask a question, they both give a different fucking... We'll cut this. <laughs> cut this. <laughs> on the live stream. We right? normally only have one a minute. So I, That's it's, true. It's fine normally. We, should we get Luke in here as well? Why not? Make it even more fucking confusing. <laughs> Luke's doing like semaphore. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> There's a pirate <laughs> ship on the off the starboard bow, Luke. What? Um, so this is a Greg's related story. Look. They're very common, Lewis. They are. They're in... very common. So in Scotland, uh, there is a Greg's in a place called Pit Lockery, which I've no idea where that is. Well, um, probably near a lock or a pit. Maybe both. P probably both. Maybe both. But a squirrel, a red squirrel, got into the bakery. And red squirrels are like the native species of squirrel and they're protected. So you can't like wring its neck and throw it in the bin. Which, which, <laughs> which cause, you cause norma then, normally do. Yeah, well, you know, that's a big component of the old Greg sausage roll. You know. The vegan one. <laughs> the verm, the verm, no. The, <laughs> the squirrel's vegan? A any cheap meat. Yeah, it's like the so. McRib. They're things, organic. You know, any Alex. of these things. <laughs> Alex is just the most exaggerated <laughs> I've ever seen. You don't need... <laughs> As if we're like charading it up. Oh my God. Two words. Uh, book. Uh, fucking hell. A film. No, no, he's, us he's using a camera. <laughs> 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 that should not have been funny. Let's see. So this squirrel's protected, so they couldn't just get rid of it or kill it. So they had to close down this Greg's for three days. Uh, over the, when was it? Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, <coughs> it was closed. Let's get Officer Mike Luna on the case. Bring him in. The squirrel, it, it got in, it ate the meat squares, the, the sausage rolls. Yeah, it was... I don't know, is there anything it can eat in a Greg's? Iced buns. Right, sure. It had a whale of a time. Yeah, it was like, ugh, I'm glad these aren't fucking nuts. I'm sick of nuts. Mm. Pastries, and it just stuffed its face. Yeah, well, I mean, it's going to be even more endangered by the sounds of it. I'm sure there's a video, but nothing, nothing's fucking embedded here. Oh, there we go. It just magically appeared. So there's, um, there's the tweet from Mr. Greg's, Greg's official. Um, they do look better, the red squirrels and the, the grey ones. <coughs> they are just better, aren't they? I like, like how it's next to the wet floor sign. Um, it's like a ghost, though. Look, it's sort of clipping. Well, it's because there's the reflection of outside. Oh, right. Maybe it's, it's already window. dead. It's inside the window. <coughs> well, they're um, not going to be around much longer. They've been replaced, red squirrels. There's, they're very endangered. <laughs> so it is just... just Stretching, Again, doing yoga. Like, <laughs> it's doing a downward. 
Squirrel. Downward squirrel. Yeah. It is doing a little front paw stand there, but also kind of blurry and and nightmare. It's a bit of Bigfoot vibes here. I'm like getting a little bit of... Well, it's an in, you don't see them very often. They're rare. Right. It's like an unusual sight. But I don't think they're that unusual. <clears throat> like, compared to a Bigfoot. Are cryptids and Bigfoot, are they technically like an endangered species? So you can't shoot them? So they just have impunity. I don't think they are officially recognised as a species. So therefore they don't have any protections. So therefore you could conceivably kill any cryptid and get away with it. Okay, so here you go. Imagine I found a brand new species okay. of <clears throat> cat. Just endangered. Not right. endangered because it's not, no one knows about it. Is it a big it. cat? Sure. Has it got glowing eyes? No. Yeah, sure. Glowing eyes. So how many tails has it got? Six, Six or eight. Or eight. Whatever the number is that's bad. Okay. I found it. Okay. Situation one, can I just kill it and eat it with impunity? Why do you, you're vegan. Well, no, but it's, <clears throat> I'm, I'm crazy. Why? I've lost my mind. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> if today's stream is anything to go by. Or two, right? can I... I, is it illegal for me to harm it because it's automatically protected? Well, but then it can just attack it? me with impunity. You want to pinch Can it? I kill it in self-defense? Like, mm, mm. No, can I like... Pick on it. What if it was attacking me? Could Verbally I... Verbally abuse it. You little piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking lame-ass cat. How many tails many do you tails? need? What are they all for? Dumbass. How much balance do you... <laughs> That's you see what I'm saying? It would, it would cry. Yeah, like someone in chat, Matthew, if a kangaroo came to the UK, you could shoot it because it is technically not protected by okay. the UK endangered species laws or whatever. All right, well, I get my gun. Ah. Oh, yeah, is that, I mean, that's a small issue. It's no problem. But, there, I mean, there, is, there are places you can get guns legally. So we just have to figure out you know, how to get shooting, ourselves... Just for sport. A kangaroo. You know, not for killing anything with, just, you know. And a gun. <clears throat> It needs to be a confluence of... There's like a shop in London. Perfect events. You can go to. Do you know about this, this secret shop? Wrap it up, says Alex. You've got two minutes. You've got two minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's not talk about the secret shop, the secret gun shop. Don't um, do any more, but we'll just finish this one and that'll be it. We're all going to do a new story. Anyway, they released, they released the... Um, the squirrel out into the... Squirrel. The Another release released. video. This is great. <laughs> Off it goes into the building site. Run over by a car. Why do they always <laughs> release them into these shithole looking places? Look, it was really it was a local wood nearby. Oh, this is this shithole is where all of the fucking animals live, so let's just fucking put it back in there. It's Scotland, what do you expect it to look like? <gasps> oh my god, Simon. Fascali Wood on the banks of Loch Dunmore. It's probably really nice around there. It just, sounds nice. It looks it? bad on the sounds video. Like, if I was a squirrel, I'd be quite happy living there, I think. Yeah, but for how long? For how long? <clears throat> you know, before the because they, they're, they're getting displaced. These red squirrels. So well, he's not going to have time. to eat for fucking months now. He's stuffed with Greg's pastries. Are Greg's going to take the little red squirrels? Their logo now. They're going to lean into the advertising that this thing's given them. No, but I think they're going to like. I would if I were. They're going to send a bill to the squirrels <laughs> family. For everything that they ate. <laughs> Just but, turns up. But it's quite reasonably priced, Greg, so it won't be that What's the exchange rate of acorns to, um, I don't know, pounds? Pound sterling. Yeah, these days. How Probably many... one to one if everything else is a judge. Did you know, see that video I saw of the squirrel who'd stored all of his nuts in that um, TV Pants. antenna oh. up, in the, up in the air? And the guy, like, opened it and, like, a... a Avalanche of nuts like came 10, out. Like 10,000 yeah, 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 yeah. He like filled it. out this. Have How does one that? squirrel do that? I don't know. Over like years, and I think they're, I think they're like little robots, little acorn collecting robots. That's all they do. Is this your conspiracy theory? Squirrels are robots. Yeah, squirrels I, aren't real. Well, though, they're, they're, they're red just, squirrels are real. Grey squirrels are robots. That's why they're grey. Right. It's metal. Well, there you go. Um, so. <laughs> Case closed. Thank God you're here. God, Sherlock. That was... You really opened my eyes. To... To the... To the... Um, whatever I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> Still very cloudy, I've got... Okay, glaucoma. Yeah. Cataracts. Um, Ear cataracts. 
No, it's not, it's not <laughs> No, to they're that. different it's not ones. Not going to that. Oh, um, very silly. Well, that was a live PP. Did you enjoy our live PP chat? Thank you for watching and joining us. Thank you, Alex, for um, live switching cameras back and forth, and Tom for live editing back and forth and gesturing and making hand signals and shrugging. It's, it's useful to have the instant feedback of you guys and then the, the garbage that chat has been posting as well. And thank you, Daph, for being here, our emotional support animal. It is a relief. You treat him badly, but he comes back for more. Just like chat. Uh, yeah, well, I hope you guys are enjoying the live podcast. We've got to stop. So we're going to. Someone else is up next. There is another stream. Tom, Tom and Ben. ben. They're not doing Warhammering. the podcast. They're doing their Warhammer stream. All right. See you soon, everyone. Um, we love you. All right. Goodbye. Bye.